This is an update on Belly Majinga's death. He has been spat at whilst working for a railway. Belly Majinga, police interview, man over spitting incident before London Victoria worker died of coronavirus. Man 57, interviewed under caution following mother's death. Police have interviewed a man in connection with the death of a woman who worked at London Victoria railway station. Belly Majinga died a fortnight after allegedly being spat at by a man who claimed he had COVID-19 and strain coronavirus. COVID coronavirus strain COVID-19. A spokesperson for British Transport Police confirmed the 57-year-old man from London had been identified over the incident. He was interviewed under caution today at London Police Station, she said on Sunday. Detectives will continue to co collate evidence and investigate the circumstances behind the incident. They are not looking to identify anyone further in relation to the incident. Miss Majinga was approached by a man who said he was infected with COVID-19 as she worked on the coronavirus on the concourse at Victoria on 21st of March. She subsequently fell ill with coronavirus and died in Barnet Hospital on the 5th of April 2020. Miss Majinga, who worked for Govia Thameslink Railway, had an 11-year-old daughter and well-wishers well have donated almost £40,000 to her fundraising page for her family. The attack on Miss Majinga, who had underlying respiratory problems, was widely condemned amid a wave of spitting and coughing assaults on police transport staff and other key workers. Speaking during Prime Minister's questions on Wednesday, Boris Johnson describes her death as tragic. He said the fact that she was abused for doing her job is utterly appalling. Her death sparked renewed calls for railway workers to be given personal protective equipment, PPE, as staff said they feared for their safety. Belly Majinga Belly Majinga, who died aged 47 after contracting the coronavirus. The Transport Salaried Staffs Association, TSSA, and many of its members were fearful for their safety. Victor Bangara, a gate worker at Victoria, told the PA news agency, Imagine you see someone now like me, and the next time they are dead. My whole body went into shock. I was very emotional. We are all vulnerable in the same t s station. It could happen to any of us. Another railway worker at Victoria Station said Wednesday was the first day staff had been given masks to wear. A as a relaxation of lockdown rules, saw greater numbers of people travelling to work in London. Govia Thames Link Railway said it had issued PPE to staff after updated government advice urged people to wear masks on public transport. The spokesperson said, Previously, the official government advice was that PPE for our staff was not required. We have regularly briefed our people to keep washing their hands and to socially distance as far as possible while working and continue to do so. Our UK government are totally being disgraceful at the moment and have been lying on their briefings. Hopefully the government will be able to sort things out soon and use the appropriate advice given by scientists. We can only trust what the government is saying. No, nothing else, unfortunately. Belly Majinga's death was unlawful and murderous and the suspect needs a life sentence, permanent for murder and homicide, common assault, battery, assault on an emergency worker and whatever other charges can be brought against the suspect. How many cases are confirmed in England alone? There are confirmed 145,808 plus 824 deaths 31,843 plus 313 recovered not known UK cases confirmed 248,293 deaths 35,704 recovered 1,918 Mills and Keynes total cases 507 active 507 recovered unknown fatal unknown if you would like to know about somewhere else please email global cases confirmed 5,014,943 <clears throat>
plus 117,376 deaths, 328,462 plus 5,106 recovered, 1,909,701 plus 221,071.